Welcome to another video. Uh, on this video we're gonna see how we can serialize the JSON string uh, into a C sharp class that we can use to uh, and manipulate. So the easiest way to do is that we're gonna call this guy again like we did before and we're gonna grab the text that comes back continue and we're gonna grab the string here as a text so the easiest way that I found that you could turn this to a C sharp class object a C class is that just copy that and you can just finish this off copy to your clipboard and then go to this website uh, Jason UTILS com or you can just Google it and say JSON to C sharp. And there's a couple options, there's a couple websites that can do this. But basically what it is is that as you can see here, you type you copy and paste your I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna paste uh, the whole cus uh, the product JSON that I got back from Magento. I'm gonna change the class name to say uh, M2 product. It doesn't matter what it is. It's up to you. And then I'm, I'm gonna add this Pascal case and I'm gonna add the JSON property. And then we're gonna hit submit. And then this utility basically will turn it, that JSON into a class. So as you can see, you could do this by hand, but it will take a long time. So in this video, this is the best way to do it. Make it short. So what I'm gonna do is you could break this into different files but to save time here I'm just gonna copy the whole thing I'm gonna say copy go back to Visual Studio and I'm gonna create a class and I'm gonna say add class and I'm just gonna call it same thing M2 product and then I'll just do that. Let's see. Sheesh. Um, this error that you get, just make sure you just add uh, the JSON uh, names or uh, this one right here, the top one. Newtonsoft.json. Just add that in and that error will go away. So that's pretty good. I think we're ready. Uh, the only thing I wanted to change was actually it's m.2 product yeah there we go okay I'm gonna save it now we can serialize that so we're gonna go back here and over here and we're gonna say if response it uh, server code I think it's what is it status code equals if it's okay that means we got data back so if it's okay what we're gonna do is uh, turn into the class so what what we need to do let's say um, what's our class and that two product so we can say product we got a single product here so uh, we're gonna say JSON convert that uh, not serialize deserialize object and our value is going to be response that content and that's it the only thing we need to do I think here we need to we can tell it the type that we want get an object out of that so let's do a breakpoint stop it here we don't want to stop here anymore let's see what we get if it doesn't work it will just break but it went through and now we can see as you can see we have an object now here we got attribute ID for created at 
custom attributes and then you have all the attributes manufacturer you have a value for the manufacturer there's no there's, there's a number but i'm sure that is pointed to somewhere something else categories we don't have any uh, options we don't have any but id we got the basic stuff name price SKU, um, and this whatever it's available right now so far this is just a plain magento installation so there's nothing special on it but as you can see uh, the whole point of this video was to show you how you can deserialize the JSON coming from Magento API into C Sharp uh, class, and now you can basically use it and pull the data that you need as required. So I'll be uh, pushing this to Git GitHub so you can pull this uh, code really easy. You don't have to keep watching the video. You can just watch it and get the idea grab the code and do whatever you need to do so hopefully this is helpful to you guys let me know if it's helpful and i'll continue to make more videos about magento rest api thank you for watching